The government has imported eggs from Thailand to ease rising egg prices in Korea due to the avian influenza outbreak. But it's unclear whether the measure will prove effective. Some pundits predict the uptick in egg prices will continue through the year end. This is a restaurant serving tteokbokki, a snack of seasoned rice cakes. Boiled eggs were offered in the past as a free compliment, but they have since been replaced by fried stuffed seaweed. It's because of soaring egg prices. This restaurant specializing in egg-covered kimbap rice rolls is also considering shutting down. It uses 400 eggs a day and can no longer burden the cost. The government has imported eggs from Thailand to allay such concerns over prices, but it's unclear whether the measure will prove effective. An average 40 million eggs are consumed in Korea every day. But the imported Thai eggs number just 280,000, or a mere 0.7 percent of that total. What's more, the imported volume will mainly go to small-scale restaurants and bakeries and will not be supplied to supermarkets. There appears to be a long way to go before production at chicken farms is restored to an extent which would normalize egg supply. Only a dozen out of the 153 farms where chickens had been culled have restored their sheds. The other farms still remain empty. Considering that it takes six months for a chick to grow into an egg-laying hen, some pundits say the egg price hike will continue to the year's end. The government said it will observe the effects of the latest egg imports and announce follow-up measures including whether to import more eggs from Europe.